Here's how to crochet a scalloped edge onto your knitted object, whatever a swatch or a sweater, whatever you want, a button band. Um, this is going to require a combination of slip stitches, single crochets, and double crochets with some chain stitches, and I'm going to show you how to do them. And don't worry, I'm going to do a complete crochet ebook, of course, but let's just do some fancy edging. Okay, so one thing I love about crochet, it's so easy to take out, right? Okay. So you've got the edge of something here knitted. This is just an unfinished uh, unfinished thing that I have. This looks like a cast on edge, but it really doesn't matter. All you need is an edge that has two loops so that you can do this under two of the loops, see? All right, so let's get started. Insert your crochet hook under two loops like that and get some yarn. All you need is a, is a short tail hanging down. So put your yarn over the crochet hook and then turn your crochet hook down and pull up a loop. Now, tension your yarn for crocheting just like you would do knitting continental style and go ahead and hold this tail right here. Just sandwich it right alongside the edge. We're gonna crochet it in so you don't have to weave it in later, okay? All right. Incidentally, if you have a scarf where you changed colors a lot, where you like have a bunch of ends here, you can crochet all along the edge and sandwich in all the ends the same way without having to weave anything in. So there, I just saved you like six hours of your life. <laughs> all right, let's learn how to do a scalloped edge. All right, the first thing is we're going to chain two, like this, and pull up a loop. That's one chain, hook goes under, pull up a loop, that's a chain two. All right, next, we're going to do a double crochet, which requires one loop on the hook, insert the hook under the stitch and under your tail right there, pull up a loop, like that, Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. That's a double crochet. Now we're going to chain one again. See how I'm using my hands here? To hold that out of the way, hold this down. We really want to see you using your, your hands so that not everything's not all up here like that. Use, use these fingers. All right, yarn over and pull up that loop. That is a chain. We're going to do one more. Let's see, we're going to do a single crochet now in this same stitch. Just reach down into the same stitch and under the tail pull up a loop like that and pull another loop through the two on your hook so that's a single crochet so we just did a chain two a, a double crochet chain one and a single crochet now we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch right here next place you can find two loops like that and remember to sandwich this in we're just gonna pull up a loop and pull that same loop through the one that's already on the hook that's a slip stitch and we're gonna do it one more time in the next stitch to start the new scallop so under everything Pull up one loop and then pull it again through. All right, let's. Now we're gonna do the same thing. So I'll repeat from here on out. Ready? Chain two. We're gonna do a double crochet, which means we have to get a loop beforehand. Then go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull the loop through the first two stitch, first two loops, and a loop through the last two loops. So many loops. All right, chain one and a single crochet. Yarn over, pull a loop through. Yarn over, pull that loop through the last two loops. All right, now I'm just gonna leave this tail to the back now. We don't really need it anymore. You can see that it's been, it's been well sandwiched. It's under there. So I think we're done with the, with the tail. We can put it to the back. Now we've got two little scallops. And when you block it, you can really make them nice and round. But let's do that again. It's time to do one chain stitch, oh, sorry, a slip stitch in the next stitch right there. Pull that same loop through and again in the next stitch, there it is. Pull one loop through and that same loop through the next, uh, through the stitch on the hook. Ready, let's start again. Chain two, double crochet. Loop over, under the stitch, pull up a loop and through the first two and through the last two, chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. All right, now you can do any combination really of, of double crochets, single crochet. Here, let's do our slip stitch to finish this off. I just experimented for a few minutes till I found one that looked kind of round. Like that, I wanted it really scallopy. If you wanted it more scallopy, you can do longer stitches in the middle. You can even do something like a triple crochet, double crochet, uh, sorry, a single crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, double crochet, single crochet, which would really make it like, like really big and round. Okay, but you'd need to use up more 
the more space in order to do that. This one is just, this one takes up about one stitch for every scallop and one stitch in between every scallop. So it's as easy as that. And of course the pattern is posted below.